Hello everybody, this is Nerd Analyst, and welcome to It's TCG Time. I opened a case of Dust Till Dawn, and for some reason, my recording got messed up. And so the second and third box only have partials of the video. So please bear with me as you watch this second half of the box openings. Thank you. Sorry about that. Something happened. I had to fix it. Sorry for the pause. Let me continue on here and so we can see what we're getting. Let's see here. Queen of the Damned. First, Majestic. Foil and here we go. Let's see what we get. Come on, something spicy. Give me something spicy. And there we go. Majestics are few and far between, I see. Almost halfway through the box, only one Majestic. That's crazy. Another rare uh, foil. And the second Majestic. Second Majestic, Prayer of Bologna. Or Bologna. Uh, that's an extended foil, widespread ruin. That is a very good card, from what I understand. Extended arts are nice, so that may be a good hit, because it is extended art, and they're supposed to be better. Alright, last pack of the first half of the box. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> Another Majestic. Okay, and this is a Lurian Inducement. And so, two Majestic Foils, two regular Foils out of the first half of the box. And one of those is the Extended Art, so it could be really nice. <laughs> I don't know much about the prices on these things. I don't know playability on a lot of these things. You'll know that before I will. So, oh, there is a legendary Empyrean Rapture Cold Foil. Wow, that's nice. Empyrean Rapture Cold Foil. Legendary. So. Pulled the legendary out of this box, okay? I don't know how good it is. This is an equipment chest, so weapons and gear are usually good. Once per turn, instant. This gets Ward 1 until end of turn. You have a card with a herald and its name has been put into your hero's soul during your turn. First ability you activate this turn costs two less to activate. Wow. So that's. Pretty good. Empyrean Rapture Light Illusionist Chest Piece. Light Illusionist, isn't that just Prism? Oh. I don't know. 
Maybe it's not so good after all because it is, I believe, just prism. But hey, legendary cold foil. You can't argue with that. <sighs> But I still haven't seen put four Majestics. So I'm running light on Majestics. There's another Majestic. Learn Inducement Non-Foil. Let's see. Last few packs, about five packs left. Okay, let's see, five packs left. Okay, I haven't seen but one angel so far. Are they supposed to be really hard? I guess they are. Let's see. Oh, another majestic foil. Spirit of War. And Sensor. Generic Attack. Okay, so these are starting to pop off pretty good. I almost want to, that's two again in that pack. Wow. So, they're catching up. There's a rare. And okay. This says primarily light and dark. Okay, so I should have known that ahead of time. But you know. Dabble in darkness. And last pack. Last pack of box two of this case of dust till dawn. And we finish off with two rares. Well, I don't know if it's better or worse than the first box, but considering I got a legendary cold foil and an extended art majestic, I'd probably say it's better in terms of rarity of pulls. Now value, who knows? be worth tons of money in the future or nothing right now who knows i have to go look them up i guess so thanks for coming along with this journey and i'll see you with the next box and as always this is nerd analyst you have a blessed day stay safe and be kind to each other